Hawaii. Last year, around this time, I started the Bleeding Heart Ensemble. I upcycled a lace tablecloth into a corset lined top with some gorgeous lacing at the back. And I made an anatomical heart necklace with the help of some fabric scraps. I never finished the ensemble. I am using the skirt portion of the Gilead dress pattern by Mood as the base of this skirt, as well as some red lace fabric that I am crossing my fingers and hoping will be enough. I'm a little bit scared. Red, pink, orange doesn't show up well on my camera. It's quite unfortunate because the color you guys are getting. Okay, this looks like it's going to be more than enough. I don't know what I was worried about. With my fear of inadequate fabric supplies subsided, it was time to delve headfirst into the project. I decided to start at the beginning. A pretty good place to start, if I do say so myself. And I do. I cut out the pattern in my shell and lining fabrics, marked and sewed my darts, and of course, ironed everything. If there's one thing I've learned during the course of my sewing journey, it's to iron everything. Iron your fabric flat. You sew a seam, you iron it. You sew a dart, you iron it. You sew a hem, iron it. Iron your sewing machine. Iron your pins and needles. Iron your sewing table. Iron your rulers, your pens, your pencils. Iron your iron. But iron your seams, seriously. It makes a difference. I've got the lining and the lace sewn together. Now I'm gonna do the zip. Zips are scary. Zips are the monsters underneath my bed. But we're gonna do it. I'm gonna get it done. Zip is gonna go eight inches down. So I do need a measuring tape. I did nine. I managed to get the zip into the seam without incident, which is a miracle and a half. I really need to practice sewing zips into partially closed seams. Once that ordeal was done, the next task was the waistband, which I ended up finishing by hand. And just like that, the base of the skirt was done. At this point, I was decently satisfied with the fit of the skirt, so it was time to move on to the fun part. I want to reshape the hemline to be asymmetrical. I've got a soldering iron here. I'm very much scared, but we must do what we must do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh boy, we're doing it. I had a vision of a cascade of beads along one side of the skirt. redrafting the skirt because I don't like the fit. I'm gonna be drafting it from scratch this time. So after completing beading I am now going to be taking apart the skirt and recutting it. I completed the beadwork last night and I'm literally I'm hoping this works out. I'm hoping this works out because I don't want to take the beading apart. Starting with the lining took it apart I ended it out.
I don't think that I've shown this, but along this edge where I've sewn the strands of beads, before I started sewing the beads, I finished the edge with bias tape. You can see that seam there. Finished it with bias tape. And you can see that the beading, here are all the knots, is sewn along that edge. I'm going to flip up the bias tape and sew that down, and you won't be able to see the knots anymore. One. Here's the back going to be separating it into two separate pieces and putting the zip in the back instead of in the side. I'm very pleased with how the skirt turned out, really happy that I recut it. If you're thinking to yourself, she's done, that's it, you'd be wrong. I have another iteration of the top half that I would like to make and I am very 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 excited about it and I've already started cutting out some pieces for it. Which means that there is another installment of the Bleeding Heart Ensemble coming your way this year. It won't, you don't have to wait until next year. Um, it'll, it'll be out this year. Until next time. Bye, have a great time.